You're watching Central Illinois' best source for news and weather. WAND News at 4 starts now. The final farewell, a community coming together as a fallen U of I lieutenant is laid to rest. Plus, expanding mental health access to those essential in the state, how rural areas will be impacted. But first, honoring a hero first at four as falling University of Illinois Police Lieutenant Aaron Landers takes one final ride. Landers died in an off-duty accident on August 22nd. Lieutenant Landers will be remembered for his commitment to his community, winning several awards during his more than 20 years of service. Landers was laid to rest today in St. Joseph, and WND's Karen Iser joins us now. Karen. News. Thank you, Karen. Well, a symbol of a two-decade war coming to an end. This is a photo of Major General Chris Donahue of the Army's 82nd Airborne Division and now known as the last soldier to leave Afghanistan, marking the end of America's longest war and the massive efforts to evacuate tens of thousands as they fled Taliban rule. The war ending much like it began on a note of grim resignation. Some 200 Americans remain behind and today Taliban fighters are celebrating their victory. The president now defending his decision to the efforts of bringing the troops home. Alice Barr has the latest about more wet weather and how that humidity fares over the next several days. Sophia. Rescue and cleanup efforts continue today following the aftermath of now tropical depression Ida. At least four people have died following one of the strongest hurricanes to ever make landfall in the region. Thousands remain without power across Louisiana and Mississippi, which officials say could take up to a month to restore in some areas. There are multiple ways that you can help those impacted by Hurricane Ida. Both the American Red Cross and Salvation Army are now accepting donations to help provide food, shelter and other supplies. You can donate by visiting each organization's website. Looking for further debate, Illinois U.S. Representative Ronnie Davis was at the Farm Progress Show today. He discusses changes he would like to see made to the Biden administration's clean energy bill. He says that priorities to shift to clean energy and impose taxes and costs on fuel sources will cost family farms the most. Davis says the tax provisions that will be taken away if this bill is passed will take away opportunities for small family farmers to pass their industry through generations. A plea to the public after the break, what health officials say needs to be done to protect the most vulnerable against COVID-19. And later, up close and personal at the Farm Progress Show, what you can expect when visiting. The U.S. has exceeded 39 million cases of COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic, and 1 million of those cases were reported just in the last seven days. And the number of new cases of COVID-19 in kids continues to increase. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital report roughly 204,000 new pediatric cases reported last week. The experts say this marks the second week with child cases at the level of the winter surge. Leaders of children's hospitals across the country have issued a plea to protect kids from COVID-19. In a national campaign, the group is calling for everyone who is eligible to get vaccinated. They ask everyone to mask up, particularly in large groups or during school, and to keep up social distancing and hand washing. Because there's children now represent more than 22% of weekly cases. Some great sunsets. It's the first day of the Farm Progress Show in Decatur. WND's ag reporter Sarah Michaels has been at the show all day. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah and Angela. Well, Governor Pritzker was also at the Farm Progress Show this morning. He announced the state will be expanding mental health programs for farmers. Pritzker says state and federal dollars will be used for expanding the Family Farm Resource Initiative from those six counties to all 102 counties. A $500,000 grant is being provided by the USDA. State Senator Scott Bennett of Champaign says farmers have continued to work through the pandemic and face stresses both, both financially and personally. WND's Doug Wolf will have more on this story coming up on WND News at 5. And we want to hear from you. Do you plan on going to the Farm Progress Show? The current results are on your screen right now. We'll check back on WND News at 5 at those results. To let your voice be heard, head to WNDTV.com slash vote.
Chief Meteorologist Jim Kosek joins us now. Jim, for anyone planning to head to the Farm Progress Show this week, can they expect the skies to stay clear? Uh, for tomorrow and Thursday, absolutely. Adam police officers were thanked this week for their life-saving efforts. On August 15, Officer Scott Williams and Investigator Travis Shaw responded to a report of a 17-year-old drowning in a backyard pool. They found a 16-year-old Eleanor holding her cousin Jack to keep him afloat. The department recognized Eleanor for diving into the pool to save Jack and calling 911. And in Florida, two officers also being hailed as heroes after the life saving of a choking toddler. This body camera footage captured the incident unfolding in Sweetwater. Officer Samuel Dorselli and Sergeant Domingo Benito Jr. say it was instinct that in training that kicked in when they saw the child fighting to breathe. Coming up, another look at your forecast.